Hi, I'm Nadine Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And today's video is one of those videos that pretty much supports every other video I do. Because this video is about the most critical aspect of yourself and of life that you can work on, that you can develop, that you really need to know about. You see, before I started doing coaching for women around attraction and dating and partnership and relationships and healthy love, I actually worked for a retreat and a facilitated workshops in mental health and addiction. So I'm not a therapist per se, I'm a coach, but this is an area that I was involved with. And there were also psychiatrists um, on site or that they would call in if they needed. Um, but most of the time coaches actually work with the people, with the participants and the guests at these retreats. But I also ran these workshops in a city as well. So it wasn't just for retreat people, it was also for people just wanting to learn and to work on themselves on a personal development level. Anyway, what was the main thing that I worked on with everybody? The main thing that I taught and the main thing that I teach everybody that I work with is understanding of our worth. Because this is the most critical sort of aspect of ourselves that when we understand it, when we get it, when we believe in our worth, when we understand our worth, life just gets easier. When we understand um, how we rate ourselves against others, how we perceived ourselves against our family, friends, even celebrities, when we see that we rate ourselves and we're constantly comparing ourselves, we're playing a worth game and an ego game. And because of that, we end up miserable. And the thing is in life, we can always improve. We could all, there's always gonna be someone prettier or uh, taller or smarter than us. That's life. But when we know our worth, it doesn't affect us as much, not nowhere nearly as much. Sure, at times we get upset, at times we feel down, but when we understand our worth and can connect back to that, then the emotions, those uncomfortable emotions start to dissolve a lot quicker and we start feeling healthier mentally and emotionally and also physically because when we're feeling depressed, when we're not feeling good enough, when we're feeling that we're lacking in some way, we don't feel good, we feel flat. We feel down and out. We feel that life's hard. We may feel that no one will ever love us or want to be around us. So if you can relate to this, the number one thing they want to impart, share with you, uh, instill, is that you're worthy. Your worth doesn't change. The day you were born, conceived, thought of, you are worthy of everything that you desire. You are worthy of respect. You are worthy of kindness. You are worthy of being heard. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of creating the life that you want. And unfortunately, because many people don't understand that their worth cannot be compromised, they often feel down about their life and they don't put themselves out there. So for example, if someone is super animated, someone who always wants to be the center of attention, there is a very good chance that they are doing that because they feel lack of worth. They're trying to get external validation, validation from others so that they feel better about themselves. So they're going outwards to feel worthy. It's similar from, for someone who doesn't speak up, who's very quiet. Now, sure, there are some people that are more introverted and extroverted, but an introvert isn't necessarily someone who doesn't speak up for themselves. There's a bit of a confusion there in society about what it actually means to be an introvert. An introvert doesn't mean that you're a pushover. It, just may, not, it may mean that you're just not a big personality, but I'm talking about someone who's super shy, super insecure. The reason why they don't speak up is because if they were to speak up, if they were to express themselves socially, if they were to have an opinion, they are so scared of being rejected in some way. Their opinions rejected, their advances re being rejected, their wants, their suggestions being rejected, that they would rather say nothing than feel even more miserable, even more useless. Because if someone was to reject their suggestion, then it would potentially make them feel that they're even less worthy. And so they keep quiet so that they don't have to feel any less 
than they already do. So you've got that person, as I said, and you've got the person who's big personality. Then you have people who can be quiet and people who have big personality who can have anger, a lot of anger issues, can really be almost abusive in the way that they interact with people when they feel triggered. That is ego-based, that is self-worth-based, that is pain and trauma that hasn't been healed. Um, that needs to be healed so that they can actually articulate what it is that they want, need and desire in life so that they can articulate their boundaries with more confidence so that they know that they're not less or more irrespective of how the other person responds to their request. So this video today is about you knowing that you are not less or more any day of the week. You're not less or more than anyone else any moment of the day. You are not less or more than your sister, your girlfriend who gets more attention maybe than you sometimes. Your sibling who's really amazing at maths and you're really great at art and in your family, academic interests were more revered, were more seemed more valuable. And because of that, you feel that something is wrong with you, that you're not smart enough. And you might be very academic, you feel like you may not gel with your family, that you may not be on the same page as your family. And because of that, you feel less than. All of that is noise and talk and stories about your worth that you've allowed to happen. Now, of course, it tends to happen without you realizing at a young age, but as an adult, you can change that. I want you to know that if a man isn't interested in you, you're not less or more, whether he likes you, you're not more. You're not less or more whether you're 10 kilos heavier or 10 kilos lighter. You're not less or more whether you're arty or academic. You're not less or more whether you're blonde or brunette. You're not less or more whether you're, you know, five foot eight or five foot one. The same goes for everything in life. This constant comparison is going to eat you alive and it needs to stop. But this is not about wronging yourself. This is about observing and seeing what you're actually doing. Because a lot of this stuff that we do, a lot of this um, rating of worth actually is happening subconsciously. For some people, they're more aware of it. Other people aren't aware of it, but we're doing it all the time. Our reactions, particularly the ones that aren't so positive or effective, often ego-driven, which links to our understanding of our worth. So know that no one can take away your worth. You were born 100% worthy 24-7. So I want you to remember that and know that. My program Never Lose Him actually has quite a lot of information about this that's imperative for dating. It's imperative for your day, everyday joy, your life force. And it's imperative, if I link it back to dating, to who you choose and what kind of men you choose and how you show up with men. Your worth is actually the core to everything that we do, drives everything that we do. So I want you to show up with men feeling confident and worthy of love. To show up walking into a job interview knowing you are worthy. Walking into a classroom or a walking into an event into a restaurant, on a blind date, and feeling okay with you, at peace with you. Because when you understand your worth, no matter what's happening around you, you still have a sense of deep inner peace that's unshakable, and I want that for you. So check out my program, Never Lose Him. A lot of that information is there. And also coming up, I'm going to be running an event, a group coaching program shortly that talks about this, that goes into this in great detail so that if you do feel less than, if you know that your understanding of your worth is not great, if you know that you're not particularly loving of yourself, you're not particularly honoring of yourself in many ways, then please send me an email at support at healthyyouhealthylove.com. The link is in the description. Please let me know if you're interested in this group program because the group programs are so powerful because you learn so much about yourself through understanding and learning about others. It's one of the most powerful platforms for change because it's not just one call, it's multiple calls over a number of weeks. So please do reach out, let me know. I wanna find out about you and what your needs are, what I can help you with so we can actually allow this year to be the most incredible year for you. So there you go, I want more for you. I want you to feel that inner peace. Well, that's all for the moment, so please do email me. I'm Nadine Peart, I'm from Healthy You, Healthy Love. Please subscribe, give this video the thumbs up and please share it with a friend. If you know a friend really lacks a lot of self-confidence and self-worth and self-honor and self-love 
and struggles in dating, in life in general, and has anxiety and feels you know, depressive a lot of the time, then this is the video that they need to see. Thank you for being here with me. I value you and I look forward to seeing you at my next video.